Uh, all right then, well, another problem with these old things, the cockpit. So these seats may look amazing, modern, comfortable, but let me tell you, they are far from that. The seating position is rubbish. The seats, not too bad just to park the caboose for a couple of minutes, but long haul drives, shit house. So I've been looking at, well, there's a couple of options really. Um, big company out of the UK, Exmoor Trim, do some nice stuff. Um, quite expensive, uh, a little bit more difficult to get here in Australia. There are a couple of supplies, but um, yeah, just a lot harder to grab. But I did find another option, and that's Shieldman Australia. Uh, Shieldman seats, didn't really find too much info about them, but I kind of thought I need something, and I need something ASAP. So I have got a couple. Um, so let's have a look at those in a second. Um, but first thing is let's just rip these old things out. Uh, place needs a vacuum and we'll strip all of this off lie down some car builders and then get a little look at these new seats so let's get vacuum out and give this place a little polish <laughs> Alright, that's the top of the seat box done, so just gonna roll this stuff in, make sure it's fully stuck down, no air bubbles underneath. I've also done inside this little compartment under the driver's seat. I haven't done uh, under the passenger seat yet, the battery's still in there. I can probably do that at a later date, so that's probably what I'll do. Alright, so this is the seat box as it is now. Um, now I want to put a second layer of vinyl down, or a layer of vinyl I should say. So this is another product from Car Builders. This is a, um, a vinyl top and it has a a foam backing um, of some sort. So this is kind of a stage two uh, sound absorber, I guess, or sound barrier more so. A piece from here to wrap down and hopefully it's wide enough to also flap down the sides. I have a join there, which maybe I'll cover with something, I'm not sure yet.
Oh, yes. These right here are the new seats, or one of the two new seats for the Defender. Now, if you asked me a couple of years ago whether I'd be spending thousands of dollars on seats for a full drive, I would have said, hell no. But I just did, um, without even sitting in them. All I know is the Defender ones are coming out, or are already out. And uh, I decided to pull the trigger on some Shulman Australia seats. Um, these are a Land Rover kind of model, um, mainly because the base flips up, so perfect for these. That's one requirement, which really narrows down your options for the Defender. You want to be able to get under the seat. So that is a headrest, my friends. Right, what else we got in here? This looks, this looks nice. Uh, wiring loom uh, for a seat. That's right, they're heated. Don't need it, but you know, why not? Just try and get this thing out. I might unwrap it and sit it up. Yeah, that's a that's a good looking seat. Oh. Not bad. Firm. Right now, I've got some hardware to mount it. This comes with everything. You don't need to reuse anything from the, the old or factory Defender rails or anything, so throw all that in the bin. So it looks like we've got a base piece to sit at the back, two side rails, and then to attach to the side rails is the actual slides. So I'm going to start by attaching these to the base of the seat and then I'm going to have to cut out a little bit more of this insulation that I've put down just to make sure this all sits in, in the right place. So that's one of these on either side and that is to the factory mounting spot. Right, we have these little bolts, a little spacer, nylock and a washer. Now these side rails spacer goes through through there. And that goes in, that just allows you to lift the seat up for some reason. And the washer to go on. Followed by the nylon. these rails straight on the base like that this mechanism has to be on the inside this grab rail like it just flexes into place.
Right, now after you lift the seat in, if you put it all the way back, you've got a couple of mounting options here. So looks like more forward or more back. So I guess if you're longer legs, you'd probably want to put it on the rear wood hole. Um, I'm assuming what that's for. So I'm going on the back just to get the seats mounted as back far as far away from the dash as possible. There is two spots you can put the rail as well. So I think that's the rail can be that's on the back slot as well. That can be brought forward, but um, yeah. So bolts up front. So got this one in. Got this one in. Just need to get this one here in. So I should be able to move this seat forward all the way to get those rear ones in. Seat is sitting pretty far back. on brand new rails, installed pretty easily, quite frankly. All right, just the headrest to go in now. Both driver and passenger in. Yeah, you definitely sit higher. The seat goes back further. Um, as far as comfort goes, well, we'll have to let you know. Center console will have to come up now. It's a bit too low. But yeah, pretty straightforward install. These are the um, Schulman seats, made in Germany. This is a Land Rover model. Lift up bases. Let's have a quick look at that. So these are the Land Rover ones. So they have a lift up base. So you remove a pin. Seat base lifts up. Wiggle it forward a little bit. There we go. Pretty good access. To get into the battery or under your, under your driver's seat, whatever. Now I do still have to wire in for the heated seats. So they got a heated base and a heated back. Stay tuned, we'll go through the wiring up, um, probably when I do more electrics. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. This isn't a Defender anymore. No. Can I sit? Yeah, you can sit. Yes. <laughs> Far out you are, boy, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Notice how your legs are kind of more up and down, like up, a truck. Up and dicular. Can I slide? Mm -hmm. How do you feel in them? Yeah, good. It's not too... The steering wheel's too close. Seatbelt's just hanging back oh. there.